Uh, McDonald's, the other story this morning in terms of earnings, expecting mid-single-digit uh, sales growth in 2021 and 2022. Fast food giant plotting its recovery here in response to uh, how consumer behavior has changed, unveiling a new strategy to investors this morning, which doubles down on things like preference for core menu, uh, the surge, obviously, in drive through Jim, and doubling down on digital with mobile apps and mobile payments. Right. Um, I, look, I thought the I numbers were great. What, what happens to the... The, the quick service casual uh, split uh, if this if this vaccine works. All right. Candidly, it's the loser. And I think McDonald's would have been up much more. I saw those numbers. I really liked them. But I think there's going to be a sense that if I have the choice between going out uh, to a to a not a quick serve, but a regular, then I think I would go there. Uh, the idea I felt was that McDonald's was going to survive and the others would fail. And, and that's why you, you buy the stock. They've done a lot of things right. I don't think the company's going to have worse earnings. It's just that you buy the companies that have better earnings, like uh, Texas Roadhouse, David. You, know, you, you buy a company that has, like, Cheesecake Factory. With Cheesecake Factory, it was, I know it's very small, but it was the kind of company that I would say, can they make it? Right. And now I say, give me cheesecake. Um, but again, they've got to sort of bridge the gap between now and between, when people are really when? going to feel it's going to be months, Jim, months. We, we don't have an approved vaccine yet. It's going to be months. Dr. Fauci just said it's extraordinary. It is extraordinary. The 90 percent rate is what he's talking about. And that is extraordinary. Well, Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.